Hey guys, this is Anise with Anise Simple Makeup. If you're watching this video, you have not yet subscribed. Why the hell not? Like, what are you doing with your life that you cannot subscribe? Nothing exactly. So, what you want to do is click the subscribe button, comment, and click the subscribe button. Alright. Hey guys, this is Anise Simple Makeup. And today we are here with my mother. Okay, this is, um, what do you want to be called on here? Your mother, I guess. I don't know. Okay, my mama. Okay. Um, we call it Talk With the Joneses. Or Mr. Jones. My name is Jill Johnson. Alright, so I know, um, makeup. This is the mermaid face. If you would like a tutorial on it, please comment below. Um, and we're going to get started. So today we're going to be talking about the what do I want to call it like the new stuff that's going on in church as far as um I don't know if you guys seen a video like a video went viral of the choir director twerking in church and then we have the pastors on the hoverboards and we have the spiritual dancers on the hoverboards and we have um, people doing the millie rock and the dab in church I just showed her what the millie rock and the dab was yesterday all right so what do you think about that well, doing the dab is okay, because that's, that? yeah, that's kind of like different like that. Even I could do that. But when it comes around to the Millie Rock, I'm not too good with that. As far as the twerking, I don't think that's good at all. When you go to church, you don't expect to see the choir director doing what they're doing out on the street as far as twerking. Especially since the choir director's back is usually to the congregation, the deacon board, sometimes even the ministers, they have their back to them. And I don't think it's good to be shaking your butt in front of the men, which takes their mind off of what's going on in church and they start thinking about something totally different. Any married woman doesn't want somebody twerking in their husband's face doing service. So my opinion on that is that they're bringing too much from in the world into the church. Okay, so what about um, gospel rap? Gospel rap, some of it is good. As long as they're not trying to do it too much like they're doing it out in the world. I, I don't mean, like gospel rap at all. Some of it is pretty All good. of it is horrible. I think it's stupid. I think it's horrible. I think it should be done. I think that's dumb. Like, that's what they do in hip-hop. Like, you, if you want to um, listen to hip-hop and stuff, you just do it. Outside, I don't think... I think church rap is so whack. I kind of like some of it. I don't like Mary Mary. I've heard Shirley Caesar do rap in one of her songs, and it sounded good. Shirley Caesar? Yes, actually. Girl. Shirley Caesar did Girl. some rap in one Girl. of her songs that she did, and she was actually on TV. I can't remember if it was the Gospel Awards maybe two or three years ago, and it sounded real good. I mean, Girl. it was different, especially for Shirley Caesar, Girl. but I liked it. Now, I don't like some of this other rap that's coming out. Like, you love God? I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? I hate and that I'm song. like, <laughs> I hate that song. I'm like, okay, okay, what's wrong with you? That, I don't like that. No, nah, no. Nah. I don't like gospel rap. I think I think it should be gospel rapping, but I guess I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Now, I think what they're trying to do is they think that that's what's getting the younger people's attention. But it's not. And I know, but they think that that's going to get their attention and get them to come to church and get more involved in church. When actually, that's not the case because they're not looking for that. In the church, they looking for that in the world. When they come to church, they looking for something totally different. You dance the same thing with twerking? Yes. Oh man, did you imagine somebody up there just doing this? <laughs> I can't. That's I not know. right. That's just know. that's not right. You wear tight dresses to church. You wear low cut dresses to church. Well, my dress and now is... they want to start tweaking, twerking. twerking. Okay, Twink, well, what twerk if they say my church. dress should be tight? I'm fat, so all my dresses are tight. But I mean, it's a certain. Even if you wear a tight dress, 
Any fitted thing you, you can it, I, I won't say a tight dress. I'll say a fitted dress. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can wear a fitted, a fitted dress if it's not cut too low okay. and it's not too fitted across the butt. Okay. People are not going to really pay attention okay, to so it. So what about if you got like this real stupid booty? Then that means like you Natalie need booty. to wear a long jacket. And that way it doesn't draw attention to your butt. It kind of camouflages it. Okay, I guess. Well, that's enough about this subject. I'm tired of talking about church right now. But I, the the pastors on the um on the hoverboard blow me. Just like um, what was that show? I just feel like all the pastors on that show was a pimp. The preachers of L.A. or preachers of yeah, yeah. That show was like true, stupid, stupid. Don't you? And they did look a little flamboyant. They yeah. looked gay. Yeah. And they all looked like pimps. And the young preacher on there, he was kind of calling them out, telling them that they had got to the point they had been doing it for so long that they were in it for the money. I, I definitely think they And that. not for the gospel, yeah. but spreading the gospel. I mean, if you're getting all that money being a preacher, like you yeah. ain't working no regular job, I guess. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah. that goes both ways. It's just like um, how people have um, an opinion about the black churches and they feel like all black pastors take the money. And do whatever. I mean, I could see if, if it was in a mega church, but I don't really know about a small church. Because yeah. how much money could you possibly be getting in a small church? But, That's true. Um, There's always a building fund. And every small black church. church. Every the small building fund, church the pastors, has uh, a building fund. Pass the building fund, the usher board building fund, the building fund, fix the donut. Yeah. So it's always a building <laughs> fund, no matter what. But I didn't really care too much for the preachers of Atlanta either because I mean you don't what see was like, that LA, uh, LA might have been LA, but you don't usually see, you know, ministers up there doing stuff like that. You didn't see Jakes on there. You didn't see Creflo Dollar on there. I don't know Jakes. I don't know you about Creflo Dollar. I feel kind of some kind of way about him. I don't know what it is. But, but you didn't see them on there because they're not going that way. Okay. Well, I want to say that please, if you're a pastor and you're watching this video, please get off the hoverboard. You are choir director and you're twerking. Please stop twerking. Yes. Twerking for God is not okay. Yes. It's not okay. Girl, get your life together, girl. Or it's really boy. not. Hmm. All right, guys. We will see you in the next video. Um, anything else you want to say? No. I thank you guys for watching. This is the first time I've been on here. Maybe she'll let me come on again. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. See you in the next one. Bye.